What's up all? In this episode of Modern Minutes, I'm going to show you some online manipulatives that I think you're going to find helpful. But that is if we ever go full remote. Like that's ever going to happen. So the day has come. We're going virtual and you may be thinking, do I have to take all of these manipulatives home with me? I mean, I love my rack and racks, my 10 frames, unifix cubes, geo boards, base 10 blocks, pattern blocks, play money, dominoes, dice, interactive clocks, fraction circles, lions and tigers and bears. Oh boy. Take a deep breath because there may be a way to lighten your load. Introducing a website called Toy theater.com that's right you heard me toytheater.com toytheater.com is a website along with a few other great ones that can be found in one of our asynchronous pd modules called going virtual with math manipulatives in a virtual world so once you get into the toy theater website here's what it looks like across the top you're gonna see a bunch of tabs. If I click on the math tab, what it actually does, guys, it brings up a hundred very fun interactive learning games. And these games, along with the virtual manipulatives that I'll be showing you here shortly, can either be used in your virtual synchronous time or given to your kiddos to do on their very own during their asynchronous days. Although not as many choices, it does give a very nice shout out to our ELA friends right here, our art friends, our music friends, our puzzle friends, uh, our, our gaming friends. Um, but regardless, I would encourage you to explore any of those tabs at the top. But I'm going to quickly show you the teacher tools. And in teacher tools, click on virtual manipulatives. And it brings up about 80 different virtual manipulatives that, again, you can use whether you're recording a video to show to your kids on their asynchronous days or if you just want to kind of pull them together in small groups or the whole group class time when you're doing synchronous days, you can use these virtual manipulatives. So here's a couple that I picked out to show you. Here's a 10 frame that you can use your counters to simply show that it's seven or if you want to pull another one up there, there's eight. You can have 10 frame matching with equations that this is showing that this is actually seven and three. If you like your wreck and wrecks, here's an interactive wreck and wreck to show that that's six. Um, if you really like your wreck and wrecks, guys, there's a wreck and wreck of ten. <laughs> um, here's dominoes. If you'd like to use dominoes for, you know, turnaround facts or just quick addition facts or multiplication facts or subtraction facts, you can set this to be a max of uh, uh, the max number that shows in the domino. So if you just wanted to show max of six, it won't go any higher than a six. Um, or any other number that here's your base 10 blocks you can show use your longs and your shorts to show that that's 45. Uh, here's a cool place value one that you can show hey this is 600 it shows you the words it shows you exactly place value if i put it to be 650 shows you expanded form that's kind of cool here's 653 it shows you expanded form um, here's some dice if you like to uh, maybe use turnaround facts or multiplication facts or addition subtraction facts you can click how many dice you actually want Click what kind of dice you actually want <laughs> and then throw the dice and we and actually almost rolled right on top of me let me throw it again there we go so there's a five and a four so you can use the dice right there it's kind of neat here's an interactive clock that you can use you can set to you know can show you the analog or not um you can take off the the um, dash lines it just said um here's a multiplication chart it does they have one that goes up to 10 this goes up to 12 so if you're talking hey that's let's see what seven or eight times two is that's 16 but you also can show that that's two times eight um this is kind of a cool feature too that you can add blocks to this um and you can show in a nice little 3d module or model what this shape actually looks like um last one i'll show you is a simple little clock let's say you, you you're on with your whole class, you say, hey, you got 37 seconds to, to do this particular task or whatever time. You can set the time. You can pick the picture that you want the time to go. I'll pick a triangle. And then you sit, hit set and hit start, and it gives you a nice little timer. So now, guys, listen, there are obviously a lot other um, websites out there that has these virtual manip manipulatives, but you can go and explore these. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys, especially, like I said, if we ever happen to have to go full virtual. <laughs> Um, you guys are awesome. Keep being great, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye-bye.